Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we're just going to do a little, little cheeky range review for the Eyes of the Nine, part of uh, Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault, to be specific. And before we go into this, I will say that I had forgotten that actually the Warhammer Underworld stuff, there is, you know, there's unique stuff in there in terms of sculpts and models. Also, I'd forgotten that the pricing is actually not bad. I mean, seventeen fifty for a uh, warband, that's actually not... That's not terrible. That is not bad. When you, especially, you know, especially if, uh, if as most of you are, primarily forty k. Uh, those of you who uh, who watch who watch my channel, then seventeen fifty for several models that could be easily turned into significant characters, HQs. Compare that to like the twenty to twenty five sort of range that we're looking at for for like single HQ models for forty k, especially. And these start to look like a pretty decent deal. And there's quite a lot of stuff I think that can be done with some of these in terms of bits and stuff to stock up your bits box or to create unique characters for armies that you already have. Obviously, more focused towards Age of Sigmar with uh, with with Underworlds. But the fact is that I think when in, in the kind of like microcosm of Games Workshop's sort of <laughs> economics, this is not bad value, to be fair. You get the deck, you get the uh, you get the actual models, and for the most part, the models seem to be pretty good. So we'll start out with this lad. Obviously, Eyes of the Nine are Zinch, so uh, there's there's of course a Zinchian flair to them, as you would expect. This is a nice sculpt. This is a good looking sculpt. That's a impressively sized greatsword. I think probably about the same height as the uh, as the creature wielding it, which is terrifying. There's some nice details on this model. Things like things like this. I look at like the almost like the lower half and the upper half separately. You could do some really fun stuff um, for like almost like a, like a, like an Inquisitor Twenty Eight warband or something. You could do the lower half of this for something cool, something weird. It's got those cool kind of uh, kind of interesting, almost avian esque legs. Of course, hooves on this one. But uh, the sort of elongated and very narrow, got some nice, sort of nicely detailed leg armor on the front there. The I quite like the the weird sort of beak helmet that's going on with there as well. It looks decent. It's a nice looking model. It's not static. It does look like it's about to move, but there's more kind of uh, more kind of a feeling of intent as opposed to outright kind of motion with it. But it looks decent. A nice, simple base as well. That's like, I like bases like that because they are, they're simple enough that you can put your own spin on it. But also, if you don't want to do anything with it, you've already got a, a decent, a decent base. I really like this model. This is all kinds of creepy and weird. And it's really cool. So with this one, you really have got like proper, proper like bird-like legs. A single wing coming out of the back. Which I think is actually blending quite nicely into the back of the skin. Personally, I would have made the wing a bit bluer, or I would have faded the transition further into the actual wing itself. But it is a it is a funky model. It's all the right sort of borderline body horror, body horror um, for for Zinch. This guy, the eye coming out of the palm with that kind of weird headdress that looks like it's almost morphed the guy's head into a point at the top it's really creepy super creepy super weird and makes me uh incapable of saying body horror instead of saying what i say horry bother or something not correct absolutely not correct i'd say it's late but it's not it's quarter to four in the afternoon it's just i've been looking after my kids for like two days straight by myself starting to lose my mind it is a decent looking model it's imposing just because of how awful it is the legs are just un like they're just freakishly long like compared to uh compared to the other one obviously long legs but proportionally long like it's it's a tall looking model and the legs are a bit more built they're a bit more you know there's a bit more width to them and the hooves do a lot to kind of bulk them out that i mean, that's just straight up it looks like he is set like Easily 75 to 80 percent leg, which is just weird. I kind of find myself wishing that 
staff was a little more complex, but at the same time, I wonder if it was a bit more complex, if it wouldn't just overcomplicate things. Because I think overall, it's a really nicely balanced model. There's, I mean, there's so much you could do with that for, like, either a 40k sorcerer of some kind. There's, there's so much stuff you could do with it. Got a couple of just, just acolytes, which still look decent. I do like the crazy shape of the shield on his back. No idea how well it'd function, but it does look cool. It does look fancy. And there is a really nice feeling of movement on this one. Like I think they've nailed the running pose with this. I'm curious now. We'll have to have a look at the sprues after this. I'm assuming that it's that the foot is pegged into the base there. I would guess, anyway. Actually, relatively like human looking feet feet are a thing that is a very popular at the moment in terms of uh in terms of games workshop miniatures a lot of the war cry stuff have got no shoes on but sometimes the feet look a bit off this one looks okay and i like the helmet as well like the uh you can't like it it's like multiple eyes almost looks like a smile but is it really a smile it's more just a beak look and the swords, uh, the sword is 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 classic. I think the other guy's got a similar sort of, not exactly the same, but yeah, just just that overall look. That other guy. I do apologise. The uh, the other girl. It does look better out in front. Of the shield actually. I think I prefer the shield being like forward and centre. That one's definitely got like a weird, creepy mouth going. Yeah, the helmets are super odd, which is perfect. Pretty decent. I guess a nice. That's a nice white on the clothes as well. There. I know we're more talking models than paint jobs, but yeah, yeah. Both of those. Both of those are decent, and I think you could probably do. You could probably mess about with them a fair bit. You could easily swap. Like, yeah, you could easily swap the weapons out with other stuff if you wanted to. I don't think it'd be easy to take the shield off his back. It looks like it's moulded into the back of his, uh, like across the shoulder blades. Probably, don't know that it's actually connected anywhere else necessarily. Maybe rests against the against the backside there, but yeah, you could you can you can easily swap weapon, weapons around on these guys if you end if you like ended up buying a couple of boxes, wanted to do something different with the uh, with the models, you could easily vary them up. The fact that they've both got that kind of running pose as the other ones looking a bit more um, like leader esque. I like the variation. <laughs> a little, a little horror there. I'm not sure about the fire effect coming out of the fingers. Out of the hand, I think it's okay. Out of the fingers, I'm not too sure. It doesn't look quite right for some reason. The fact that they are just a head with legs and arms always creeps me out. It's just a weird, creepy design. Like the the like the top part being a beak and the bottom part being being teeth. In a way, it doesn't actually. In a way, that looks way more cartoony than that. It feels like slightly different styles going on there. It still looks okay, but I mean, these are just fun. I always like these. They just look like they're having a whale of a time all the time. They're loving it. Look at them. Look how happy they are. Well, one of them's being a bit screamy, but you know, apart from that, that <laughs> they are genuinely quite fun little things. Very front, very front and back heavy. Not a lot of, uh, I don't know. They're, they're very wide and uh, not very, not very. I, I don't even. They don't have much depth. That's what I'm trying to say. Wide but not deep. Now it's getting a bit slanesh again now. I better shut up. And of course, obviously you've like the 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 full the full squad of them. It does look good. It does look good. I have to say, I do really like the uh the uh the two kind of character esque looking ones. I think it's I think the legs do a lot to make them look extra creepy and weird. But yeah, of course there's the there's all the cards and stuff, but that's nothing to do with the model. So so a quick look at the sprues. Yeah, I thought so. So it looks like. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I mean, looking at it, 
perhaps the uh, perhaps the foot doesn't go into the thing. I can't actually see the other. I can't even. I can't see his other leg. His other leg's got to be there somewhere, right? Where is his other leg? So that's for. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I, I mean that's it. They're not too bad. They're not too bad. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I was right. The foot. The foot connects in, which makes sense. Make it a bit more stable as well. Same thing with the uh, the the woman as well. I mean, to be honest, the way the legs are, the the arms are connected at least is is very very simple, very easy, very easy to mess with. The way the swords are held. I mean, you could get away with replacing the blade on the uh, on the woman easily enough. You could get away with replacing the entire sword on the on the bloke, getting rid of that shield, or maybe putting the shield on him instead of like putting it in his hand instead of on his back would be would be more tricky because it is molded into the back itself. It does make it more difficult. The way that the holes have been placed in the bases is fairly unobtrusive, though. If you wanted to do like your own kind of scenic bases. You could easily keep those for something else, and you'd be able to fill those holes in super easy. So one of the things I like about the um, the Stormcast bases, uh, especially like because I've been getting Mortal Realms, I don't I haven't used the Stormcast bases uh, for some of the more recent ones I put together. Instead, I've saved them. I'm going to make bases my own, but you can easily fill the easily fill the holes in and have nice ready-made scenic bases for other stuff if it matches something else better or if you. Want them for a different, uh, a different project. Yeah, pretty, pretty adaptable by the look of it. Pretty adaptable. It's nice that that staff and the uh, the arm, the way that that's put together, because you could do a full arm swap if you wanted to on uh, on single wingman. Yeah, overall, overall, pretty decent, pretty easy to mess with. I like it. So yeah, that is the the uh, the eyes of the nine. I. I think it's a solid set of models. Let's just say, you know, in the grand scheme of things, when you look at how much stuff Games Workshop costs, seventeen fifty for for that isn't too bad. Um, it's it's especially easier to swallow when you look at the cost of you know an individual miniature. Uh, given that, I'd argue two of those would be perfect, like perfectly suited for taking the place of some sort of HQ in an army, with 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 minimal adjustment as well. Um, yeah, it's pretty solid all round. I do like that one. I do like that. That's a good uh that's a good squad there. It looks decent. So yeah, that is the Eyes of the Nine. That is the first range review for Warhammer Underworlds. We'll go through the others as well, of course. Add it to the list, along with however many others that we've still got left to do. Lots, lots and lots. This is probably gonna be a series that goes into like twenty twenty three or something at this rate. But it's fine because it's fun. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think of these models in the comments down below have you put them together have you painted them um if you're an underworld player uh how 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 good are they how do you find playing them it's something that I've, i want to get into because it feels like it shouldn't be too too tricky to get into and the commitment to actually you know making the making a, a, a warband for it shouldn't be too much but just another thing to add to the pile of things that I'd like to do that don't have that I just don't have time for, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I hope you're enjoying your weekend, and I hope the uh, the rest of the week treats you well. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to click all the things. You know the drill. I'll see you next time.